Okay, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial with Swift 3D version 6 and Swish Max 4. Okay, most of what I'm going to be doing today can be applied to the previous versions of Swish Max 3 and Swift 3D version 5. Basically, um, this is going to be showing you how to get a 3D animation into Swish Max. And I'm just going to choose the little uh, polyhedron up here and let me see that choose any shapes no I didn't I want to pick and make it into something else not too complex there we go I picked a star and I'm gonna actually this is again this is not for animation this is just showing you how to get a 3d object into Swish Max and as you can see it's there and I'm just gonna use the generic uh, standard animations that come with Swift 3D to make this easy. This applies to any animation. So if you're doing like a 3D animation with a robot walking, this applies to that also. Okay, so I'm just going to drop in a spin animation and I'm going to show it here. See, it's spinning. Okay. And I'm not going to make it complex. I mean, I can go in and do another animation and then push it over here and then drag another animation over here. And actually, that overwrites, so that's not actually correct. Uh, not sure if it lets me do it. I don't want me to do that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and um, press the button again. Here we go. It's, it's twirling. Okay. And one thing you will notice quickly is that um, the stage um, is set to 800 by 600. We're not worrying about that. You can set the stage whatever size you want it. Just don't go too big because remember, if you're putting this on the internet, you want to keep the size, file size somewhat down to um, as small as you can get it without uh, sacrificing quality. Um, as you can see, that animation was actually 19 frames and you can see each frame listed right here okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and we we have two options we can do raster or vector for time I'm just gonna go ahead and generate all frames in, in vector and if you know the difference between vector and raster vectors we can actually scale this up and down with no issues meaning it won't uh, pixelate when you go up make it go from small to big while raster is a flat image uh, it's basically like a photo where you made it made it really small and then you want to make it really big but when you bring it make it big again it's all blurry and pixelated um, that's really the basics that's not the true definition but for time that's my quick short definition that you know you know if you're gonna be doing something for print or high-res printing you always want to kind of someone get the, the best uh, resolution which is usually 300 dpi but i will say some of my images are only 120 and most people can't tell the difference um and wonder why my stuff moves a little faster okay now we're gonna move over into swish max 4 okay i'm just gonna make a new file and i'm not gonna change the uh desktop or anything like that as you can see we have that and this is basically if you use flash it's basically the same thing as flash you have your your uh you have your layers here, your scene layout here. Uh, we have content listed there, and we have effects. You don't have that. We have effects uh, that lets you do all kind of little nifty things and a button touch. Some things that takes me about two, three days in Flash, I can do it all in about an hour or two or less in Swish Max. Um, okay, now we're gonna move back over to Swish uh, Swift 3D. Sorry, I'm saying a little bit different, but I just want to make sure it's Swift, Swift 3D and then Switch Max. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Export. And notice before I export, I have options to choose FLV, which is if you want to import it as a video. And then we have SWF, which is a more common use. You have other ones such as AI and SVG, but you won't have any animations with that unless you do it frame by frame, which I know you don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and choose Flash Player, which is SWV, I mean, SWV SWF. Okay, I'm going to click on export all frames and I'm going to go ahead and click, I'm going to overwrite what I have here. I'm just calling it flash import because I was actually working on this earlier and I'm going to overwrite that. Okay, and you can see it's working here. All right, now my animation is in a folder right here including the HTML and I, you can actually look at the animation by taking that, see as you can see there and it's twirling really, really fast. Uh, but so what we're going to do is go ahead and pull up Swish Max, and then we're going to take the SWF file and then drag and drop and then a window will pop up. This is normally the normal default window you should see and whenever you pull in an animated SWF file that you've created, if you're not going to go in and you know edit the uh, frame by frame animation, what you want to do is leave these settings the same okay, and leave it on animated 
movie clip. A movie clip is the same thing as a symbol in Flash. So if you understand that, then you should understand this. It's very simple, straightforward, no guesswork really needed. Okay, as you can see, this is too big, and this is where Vector comes in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this at 50% so I can see my entire stage or canvas. And then I'm holding down the Shift button to get an equal uh, scaling. And as you can see, there it is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit 100%, and that's 100% on my screen. Okay? Now, you want to see the 3D part of it. I'm just going to choose uh, Play Movie. And there you go. And that's how you pull in 3D objects. This is not Flash or, I mean, Action Script or anything. This is actually a 3D file. Now, say if you were going to go in and edit each frame, frame by frame. Now, don't fall out of your chair when you see this. This is what you're going to see. You're going to see all the frames sitting here. So if you did a full-fledged animation, this would be a very, very, very long file. And it may take upwards of, I've, I've done 3D animation, uh, and, and uh, with the camera moving and everything and I'll show you uh, actually I'll put a link in the video for you to click on to go see my animation that I made and I did it actually in Swish, Swift 3D uh, version I think 3 and it was not pretty back then but it's a lot better thank you very much Erain um, but as you can see uh, you can go in and change uh, like say if I want to go in and change the properties of this I want to put um, a line around it okay I can put a line around it and Say I want the line to be, I'm just going to choose red. Now, when you hit play, see that flash, that red flash in there? I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm just going to go ahead and pick another one and do the same thing. See, and this is what you can get away with, and I'm saying this <laughs> kind of bad. Uh, this is what you can do. You can do this in Swish Max. You can probably do this in Flash also, but this is not a, a project that I would do in Flash. I, I, I personally say that. I mean, if you're experienced with Flash, oh yes, go. Ahead, you know, you know what you're doing. Go straight to it. This keeps all my stuff organized. There we go. And now I'm gonna play it again. And see, you can see the red. And you can do all kinds of things going frame by frame. I don't suggest doing that unless you really know what you're doing in there, because if you get lost in there. You, you can really get overwhelmed and want to have to take a break for about a week to come back and mess with this file. Or if you're dedicated, you can do a lot more. But uh, this is how you get 3D into Swish Max. Um, you can actually, like I said, you can go in and do other stuff. You can add, uh, keep it as this. And as you know, most people we know we have uh, effects. And I'll just have it where it zooms in. And let's play. And it does that over and over and over again. And remember, this is a clip, so it'll keep playing if the frame keeps playing. So I'm going to put a stop. So watch this. It's just going to go here and stop. Or say I wanted it to st go in and stop spinning. I can go in and click on uh, properties up here. See right here? And it says stop at end. So what it's going to do is going to zoom in and stop. See? And zoom and stop. But those are other things outside. But as you can see, this is how you would get a 3D object into Swift. Th uh, get a 3D object into Swish Max. This has been Warren, and thank you for watching.